but we need Grizzlies to come back. We need a basketball team here. That's what we need. And while the desire may be clear, is it realistic? Uh, I'm convinced that it could come back. It's just a question of, uh, I guess I'd say, timing. In retrospect, I wish we had a team in Vancouver right now. I think clearly Canada could take handle two NBA teams, a sort of west and east mm -hmm. in the country. Um, so I, I share David's sentiment that we do have regret. I think we are a bit ahead of our time. Ticket sales would be additional revenue. And he says Vancouver would fill the building, especially with a winning team. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to NBA 2K20 My League Expansion. In today's uh, video, we're getting into our roster reveal and also we'll be talking about um, what we want from the series, what's going to be happening. Uh, we've also got our first game. We're playing the Clippers, as you guys can see here. Our first ever game for 2K20 in the My League Expansion. But I thought I'd show off the roster, finally get the roster reveal. If you did watch the previous year, um, you do know all these players are returning. Uh, you see Clay Thompson, who we signed um, in free agency. Zion Williamson returns to the roster. The newest addition to the roster you guys are about to meet, who wasn't on the roster in 2K19, is DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins wasn't on the roster, but he was easy to get. Um, I think he was only like $3 million a year. There you go, 3.5 mil per year. So I decided to pick him up. Lonzo Ball returns for the season. Um, we traded for him in Season 2. And we matched him up and paired him up with Leangelo Ball, who we also signed in for agency. Fred, Freddie Van Vliet returns. He didn't have not he didn't have a high rating in 2K19, um, but he returns for 2K20. He's one of our highest rated players. Cali Oubre Jr. returns. Uh, we signed him for a one-year deal back in 2K19. Uh, Leangelo Ball, there he is. Leangelo Ball returning with the uh, Vancouver Force. Uh, had a pretty good season with the Force. He's been here since day one in 2K19. If you haven't seen that series, go check that one out. Isaiah Thomas returns off the bench for us. Um, basically the same roster we are picking up from 2K19. Uh, we've also signed Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony, no one wanted to sign him, so we thought, why not bring him on with the Vancouver Force? Bit of experience, bit of leadership. And hopefully he can have a good season for us. I won't be getting rid of Carmelo anytime soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to add a lot of value to our team. Robin Lopez. Um, all these players were on the roster last year, so you might be asking why. Uh, Alonzo Trier, he's really, really good. He was good in 2K19. Damian Jones, Justin Jackson. Thon Maker, we traded for him uh, later on in 2K19. And these players just round out the roster. So, same roster basically as 2K19 with the additions of DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, we did have Zion. We drafted Zion with the number one pick. So I thought, why not just pick it up from where we started and start a whole new season? I didn't really want to start a, a new, um, a brand new roster and try and start from, from the bottom. We're going to start with the roster that we had and then see where we can go from here. Uh, some teams will be uh, hit by the by basically the trades that we had to do to get all these players. We couldn't just draft them um, in the fantasy draft. But... Like I said, these players will be returning for 2K, uh, from two two K20. This this is the 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 lineup that we're going to be running with. Um, before we get into the game, I can show you. Well, I can tell you um, who will be starting. So back in 2K19, we had Lonzo start at the point guard position. At the shooting guard position, we had Clay Thompson, who we signed. Small forward Cali Oubre Jr. Power forward was Zion, and I think at our center position, when, once we're in the playoffs, was actually Thon Maker. Um, but we're going to run with DeMarcus Cousins. Like I said, he was easy to get. Um, really, really easy to persuade to sign. Only 3.5 mil for the one-year deal. Um, I probably will be in a bit of trouble when this season ends because we're going to have to try and re-sign all these players. But like I said, we're, we're going to try and push towards a championship. Um, this is the Vancouver series that I have that I had in 2K19, but we're, we're, tr we're transferring over to 2K20 and starting fresh. Basically with the same roster. So let's get into our first game. So our first game is against the Clippers. Uh... Basically, what a good test to start off with. The Los Angeles Clippers, they, they signed Kawhi Leonard. They signed Paul George. Uh, but this is our first game for 2K20 as the Vancouver Force. So we're kind of giving the importance. Um, we're not really focusing on the signings that the Clippers made. We're basically just focusing on uh, what we're going to be doing. And as you guys can see here, Zion Williamson tries to start us off. Kawhi Leonard's there. Gets his own board, goes straight back up. Um, I think the created player in 2K19 Zion was so overpowered. I could just drive the drive the paint and basically get a dunk all the time. So it's good to have his actual player. Clay Thompson uh, returns. And like I said, he's going to be massive for us, hitting threes. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George are going to be a massive, massive challenge in 2K uh, 2K19. 
a um, 2K20. I think this team will definitely see down the road. I, I did think that it was going to be tough to score on these guys, but um, we did score kind of freely in the second half, as you guys can see. It was a basically a tough tussle. Uh, here's Carmelo Anthony come on because Zion was in a bit of foul trouble. Uh, Carmelo Anthony was actually huge in this game. Like I, I'm so happy that I signed him. I'm, it's going to be interesting to see how he plays uh, throughout the year if he can actually uh, get some get some good numbers for us. I am a bit worried about our backups, uh, Freddie Van Vliet and Isaiah Thomas. They're not the tallest uh, guards. We've got Lonzo starting at point guard, uh, who, like I said, will um, basically he's going to be patrolling the whole team. He's our he's our floor general. Uh, Leangelo Ball pops up, hits his first three for the 2K20 season. Uh, this was a pretty tight tussle early on. We were we were, we were trying to get back in the game. Um, every single time we, we did something, the Clippers would just would match us with a Paul George layup or a Kawhi Leonard three. But we definitely stuck to our, to our guns, as you guys are going to see here. We're, we're definitely pushing. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do with this series, definitely want to try and get uh, multiple uh, seasons going. I only had, I think it was two seasons in 2K19. Um, but with 2K20, we're definitely going to try and uh, push on through the whole season. I'm not going to play every single game or play all the big games. Um, I will be doing sim videos so we can see where we're going. Um, we can see how if we can compete for a championship in our first ever year as the Vancouver Force in, in our 2K20. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to be striving to uh, push for a championship. But like I said, early on, this was this was a tight tussle. It was back and forth. And just near the end of the second quarter, I, I subbed Camelo Anthony in. And as you guys are going to see, he kind of takes over here for us. He, uh, he's got Paul George in front of him. A couple of jab steps, pulls up, knocks it down. And then to close out the half, I've got him and Isaiah Thomas just putting them in a pick and roll. Um, I had Carmelo fading, got that switch on to Pat Bev. And we all know Carmelo Anthony can score. That's that's the one thing that I think uh, everyone tends to forget sometimes. He's going to be massive for us. So at the half, we uh, we led by six points at the half. We did break away from the, from the Clippers after they did only. They limited us to 16 points in the first quarter. Uh, in the second half, it's it's basically it, it's, it definitely does continue as a tight tussle. But Alonzo Trier is going to be huge for us. I'm excited to see his growth uh, with the Vancouver Force. I'm excited to see how we actually go against all these tough teams. Uh, like I said, I did play with in the 2K19 with the Force, and we uh we had we did have a pretty successful second season. I think we ended up finishing fourth in the fourth seed. Uh, Carmelo Anthony was like I said huge in the first half, as you guys can see here. There, uh, he. He really did come off the bench, 11 points, uh, 3 rebounds, and, and even had a block. And we, we don't really talk about Kamalu's uh, defense, but he was huge. And so far, so so far, so good with the, with the signing. Lonzo Ball started to get going in this in this second half. But guys, comment down below what you guys want to see. Do you want to see game highlights? Do you want to see uh, scenario videos with the force? Do you want to see us actually push for a whole year? Um, do you want to see us just go to the playoffs and see how far we can actually get? Do you, like like I said, anything you guys want to see, comment down below. But we're definitely going to try and push towards a, uh, a a playoff spot. We like I said, this normally with these my league expansions, I try and do like a three year, two year um, challenge. So within my first two years as, of of playing as as the force and as the expansion team, I definitely will be pushing for a championship in that in that bracket in that window. Uh, I have been. I have been basically planning a my GM series that that will be coming in the next uh, few days. Um, it's it's basically going to drop once the NBA season drops. I'm going to try and do when the NBA actually play. I'm going to try and release a video um, on that day so it, I can basically follow that NBA team's uh, season and we can actually see how far we go and how far we get. Alonzo Trier was was at, was huge in this last quarter. He was going to the line, getting getting fouled. You see him pull back and hit that. Hit that big three, but like I said, we definitely did break away from him in this um, in this second half. Kawhi Leonard basically kept him in the game. Paul George, I think, was was struggling to get going, struggling to get shooting, and then just going to Demarcus Cousins when when we need some points is, is so good on the block. I'm I'm happy that we got him as well. We that's something we lacked last season. Um, I remember we, we did have Kevin Love in uh, 2K19, the first ever season of Vancouver Force, and it was similar to Demarcus Cousins. Demarcus Cousins, we could just give it. Just you could basically just give him the ball and he'd just go to work on the block. Lonzo Ball was also massive in this second half. Uh, he really, really did lead the way for us. Like I said, I really want him to be a four general. But look out in the next, maybe maybe the next week, I'll start doing the My GM series because I've never actually done a My GM series where you actually are the My, you actually are the GM. I don't think I'll be playing the games. I think I might just be the GM where I make all the decisions. 
I'm not too sure yet. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to look at that. But this Vancouver 4 Series is going to get started right now. It's basically getting on the... getting on. A, I'll try and get on a roll with it now. Zion Williamson um, definitely made his claim, made his uh, presence felt in the, in the second half also. He definitely uh, was pushing towards a double-double. DeMarcus Cousins, like I said. Basically our saviour in this. Him and Lonzo were huge in the last quarter. And even Alonzo Trier off the bench. It was Carmelo in the first half off the bench. And then Alonzo Trier come on in the second. And like I said, we're, we're reversing a team who who basically signed these two players who it was all, all the it was all gonna be on them to, to come out and perform. Um, and we've we're we're basically at the moment we look like we're gonna hold on and Lonzo Ball knocks down these two. Um, I think Lonzo is gonna have a massive year in real life actually with the Pelicans. I can't wait to watch that. 102 to 96, 5.9 on the clock. If a miracle would basically have to happen for the Clippers to win this one. And you see here, Kawhi Leonard misses. Kelly Oubre Jr. gets the rebound. And Isaiah Thomas dribbles it out. So Vancouver Force in our first ever game for 2K20, our, our, our Premier Week home open, uh, opener. Uh, we, get the, we get the W. I think the next video, we're definitely going to be looking at hiring a coach. We definitely have to get a coach. But what a way to start our 2K20 MyGM expansion uh, journey. We're definitely on the, on the, on the road now. We're... We're definitely going to be pushing throughout this season to, to do something with this team. Zion Williamson, his first ever game. I think he finished with 13 and, and 7. But this was the Marcus Cousins show. And thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to stick around for some for some post-game interviews. But the Vancouver Force are here. What would you guys talk about at the half? What would you guys execute starting in the third quarter? Very confident. We thought we played a good half. Um, we just needed to fix some things on defense. Uh, as far as offensively, we was getting the stuff we wanted. Um, guys felt like they was in a rhythm. So... We just had to turn that around, and um, we came out strong. Third quarter, got some stops, and it picked up from there. What did you change defensively? Uh, just got into the ball more. Um, I felt like we were a step off the first half, and they were getting comfortable, and they were making their shots. You know, in the second half, we got into them, pressured them a little bit more, and uh, the backside was a lot better. 